Hey there, name is Arthur, and today we'll be making the legendary Black Pearl. Before we start, I would like to say that there is also an extended version of this video on my channel with even more details about the making of the pearl. Right, so the beginning is very much like making any other model ship really. Well, at least I think so, I've never built one before. It's all about time, patience and glue really. A lot of glue. I have also lost my fingerprints. They will be missed. All these little sticks had to be glued one by one, which took a lot of time. Then we trimmed out the axis and made some work on the stir. Now, for some very obvious reasons, I didn't want any holes in the hull of my ship, so we'll cover it up with some speckling paste. Then we'll smooth it, sand it, and repeat. We'll use some couche paper to make our ship taller. This paper is good because it's thicker than normal paper. We'll also open up some more gun parts to fit more cannons in the ship. This is gonna be our quarter deck. And this is gonna be our deck. More speckling paste, more gun parts. Notice how the walls are already getting much thicker. Now to the cannons. As I planned on having more cannons in the original ship, I had to improvise some parts. There weren't enough wheels for a lot of them, but some of them are gonna be facing the wall, so that's okay. I don't like the cannons that came with the ship, so let's make our own, using some barbecue sticks. We'll also add some air dry clay to make the muzzle and the knob. We'll paint it black for depth and add some metallic silver for a nice shiny finish. Let's put some cardboard on the lower deck so it'll level the cannons with the gun parts. We'll paint it black so it'll be darker once we close it down. More detailing on the hull. The devil is in the details after all. Using some spare wood parts and couche paper will decorate the deck. This is the easiest conceivable way to make these tiny stairs. Trust me. This is gonna be the captain's cabin, a really iconic part of the pearl. This was a marker pen cap, and with some fine tires of paper, we'll make our wheel. With some more spare bites and paper cuts, it's done. The bell is also gonna be made using some spare parts. The bell itself was made using air dry clay.
There it is. Let's make some openings here. You can imagine this took very long. And it did. For the entrance, we'll add some open doors and windows so the light from inside can be seen from the outside. We'll also add details like door knobs, window bars and door frames. On the pearl, there are two statues of women standing on each side of the door. Now I'm not very good at sculpting such a small scale, but I'll try to give it at least the impression of two human figures standing there. Let's make some barrels and bags. We'll give the bags texture by imprinting it with a piece of fabric. Alright, now for the lights. I really wanted the lights to flicker, like candlelight. So we we'll use some fake candles and build our circuit. I spent a lot of time thinking what could be the switch. Then it finally hit me. Canon would do nicely. There's our prototype. So let's get to the real deal. And it's alive. Now getting there, one final test and it's good to go. Let's make our windows and use some parchment paper so it won't be see-through. I didn't record this part because I didn't think it was gonna work out. Sorry. Aluminum foil is such a great filler. And the clay is good to cover it. They make a great team. The figurehead is also a very iconic part of the pearl. Mariners were a very superstitious bunch and believed women on board would bring bad luck upon the ship. The figurehead was often the only exception. They believed it was the embodiment of the ship's soul. Am I glad for this cake decoration mode? It saved me a lot of trouble. Alright, so I made some paper cutouts to test the sail sizes. Then I taped it to some fabric, cut it, soaked in water and glue, and left it to dry. The bottom ones will be folded to show off more details from the deck. Let's also improve our base using popsicle sticks to make it wider and taller. And the crown jewel. Let's make the preparations for the spray painting. And it's done. Much more to my liking now. But before we get to painting, We'll need to make the polyx first. Just 53 of them. Alright, let's paint. I use a technique called dry brushing. In it, you must dip your brush in paint and then remove most of it on another surface, leaving the brush almost dry, hence the name. It's really good to bring forth the details. For the statues, I use a mix of turquoise blue, emerald green, and a bit of that metallic silver from before. Now 
voila. Some gold for the knobs. And let's paint our little friends. Put some more gold on this bell. Some silver for the anchor to give it a rusty look. Cool. Also, some little chains for the capstan. I also made some benches, buckets and boxes to bring life to the deck along with the cannons, barrels and bags. Finally the cannons. Can't leave no one out. Time to set sail. I really want the sails to be always in this forward looking position and this wire will help us with that. We'll also need some rope letters and as I didn't have any black strings I had to tint my white ones. Time to place the 53 pulleys. Yay! For the flag. I'm going with Jack's flag design. It has true cross bones and a skull. Wearing Jack's typical bandana and earrings. It also has a sparrow, of course. It wouldn't be the pearl without a sparrow. Now to put the sherry on top. Right, so that's it, I really do hope you have enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, if you're into this kind of stuff, there will be more coming soon, reach out to me in my social media and thanks for coming, I'll see you next time.